Moving on to the reference page. As with the title page, you'll need to include the references word in the title. Make sure that it's bolded. And here we have a couple examples of different citation sources and the formatting for them. With all of your citations, you'll need to include the author last name, followed by the author first and middle initial, followed by the year that the source was published. In this case here, we have an example of a source with two authors. So in that case, you would need to include an ampersand between the author's names, uh, which is of course followed by a comma to separate the authors. A difference between the seventh edition and the sixth edition is that if you can have up to 20 authors in the citation uh, for your reference section here. Following the year of publication, you'll need to include the title of the article, then the title of the journal and volume number, both of which need to be italicized, the issue number, which is back to the regular font, and then the pages that these uh, that the source is from. If the source is a digital or online publication, you'll need to include the hyperlink that you retrieved the source from. So here's the written example. Hayes, comma, J, and Phil T are the authors, the year being 2020, title being APA Walkthrough Guide, title of the journal, UT Tyler Library YouTube, volume number one, issue number two, and pages three to four. Book citation format is slightly different. So the author last name and author first and middle initial is included, but rather than the title of the article, or in this case, the title of the book being the regular font, you would italicize the title of the book and then make the name of the publisher uh, the same as the rest of the paper. So here's an example, Hayes J 2020, APA walkthrough guide brief insight into seventh edition is the title for this particular source, and the publisher is the UT Tyler Library. That concludes our walkthrough of the APA 7th edition using Word. If you have any further questions, feel free to contact the library at library at uttyler.edu or give us a call. And we also have a live chat function online as well.